Prosecutors are now seeking the death penalty against the man accused of violently raping and killing an Enid toddler back in April. Enid police say little two-year-old Kalia Guyton was found in the Grand Prairie Hotel pool. She was later pronounced dead at the hospital. Michael Geiger was arrested for her murder after a seven-hour manhunt. Today, he waived his right to a preliminary hearing, but his attorney declined to comment. Ashley Moss joins us now with more on this. Ashley. We now know more about Kalia's injuries, but after you hear this timeline that we're about to share with you, you might wonder, as we did, why this man was ever let out of jail. You can't tell us why he was Unbelievable new details about Michael Geiger. Court documents show the man who'd been released from prison just days before the Enid toddler was murdered already had a violent past going back at least 30 years. Beginning with sexual assault, rape and sodomy of a minor between August of 1992 and March of 1993, but he was cleared. In 1994, robbery with a firearm, kidnapping and unauthorized use of a vehicle. Fast forward to 2006 and Geiger by then jailed by the Oklahoma Department of Corrections discovered with an 11 inch homemade knife and a pipe 16 inches long. 2009, Geiger charged with assault and battery for attacking the medical director at the Department of Corrections. 2010, threatening officers at the DOC stating, one of these days you're going to get what's coming to you. 2012, assault and battery on another inmate hitting him in the head with a sock full of batteries. 2014, injuring a correctional officer while resisting restraints. Geiger, part of one of the oldest and notorious racist prison gangs in the country, was kept in a higher security facility than normal because of his violent behavior. Those documents also say he arrived in Enid just hours before he violently raped and murdered little Kalia. As you heard, Geiger waived his right to his preliminary hearing. We're still trying to figure out why, but the next one is scheduled for December. Ah.